The Japanese are one of the most advanced people in the world for sure. But before you think of all the robot thingies, stop there, because Japan this time has shocked us with their insane billion-dollar bullet train. You may say, oh, what's so special about a bullet train? But that Japan's made it should keep you hooked to this video till the very end. Let's get started. If you want to get somewhere quickly in Japan, you should take the bullet train. It was a technical marvel that was built after World War II. It has carried more than 10 billion people at speeds of up to 320 kilometers an hour and helped build the world's third largest economy. But as I said earlier, Japanese are extraordinary. And that's not fast enough for Japan. They are now building the world's fastest passenger train, which will go twice as fast as the current bullet trains and cut travel times in half by getting rid of wheels, which is a pretty basic part. These new trains will hover 10 centimeters above the ground by using magnetic levitation. This way, they won't have to touch the rails, which would cause friction. But the new line has turned out to be very controversial, rising costs with delays and heated debates about environmental issues. The world is waiting to see if the project can hover above its problems and make a quantum leap for transportation or if it will be a step too far. Japan has a lot of knowledge about trains. Japan was the first country in the world to build a high-speed rail. In 1959, the Tokaido Shinkansen line between Osaka and Tokyo was finished. At the time, the Japanese and the rest of the world were, um, you can say, very skeptical of the country's large investments in rail, thinking that it would soon be useless in an exciting new age of motorways and air travel. But still, the first high-speed line opened in October 1964 just in time for the first Olympic Games to be held in Tokyo. It cut the time it took to get from Japan's two biggest cities to each other from about seven hours to just under four. The line was an instant hit. In less than three years, it helped more than 100 million people. A bullet train takes two and a half hours to make the same trip. When the new Shinkansen line is finished, it will take 67 minutes to get from one place to the other. At full speed, the Shinkansen trains will go 500 kilometers per hour. A test run in 2015 set a world record by going 603 kilometers per hour. Most people agree that a regular bullet train can't go that fast because the friction between its wheels slows it down. But it will for sure in Japan. So what Japan came up with is pretty classic. Japanese engineers used a method that has been around since the early 1900s to solve the problem. Maglev, which basically means magnetic levitation. In fact, the first designs for maglev trains were made in the 1960s. And the world's first commercial maglev line, which runs from the city center to the airport in Shanghai, has been running since 2004. The Central Japan Railway Company, or JR Central, has updated this technology by using magnets that don't need electricity to work. Electromagnets that are cooled to negative 269 degrees Fahrenheit allow trains to float higher above the tracks. However, the trains must be moving quickly before the magnets work. When the train gets to 150 km an hour on its own, the maglev system takes over and lifts the carriage off of its rubber wheels. The train then interacts with a set of coils in the track, one which lifts the train's weight and the other which moves the train forward. Without the wheels, the carriages can now move at very high speeds. The trains are also completely self-driving, which means that the track controls them instead of the driver. This is supposed to make accidents less likely. Since 2014, work has been going on to build the Tokyo-Nagoya line. It is expected to be finished in 2027. After that, work will start right away on a second extension between Tokyo and Osaka that could open as early as 2037, 10 years ahead of schedule. Unlike Japan's other bullet trains, which run along the coast, the Shinkansen will spend 90% of its time underground, under the Southern Alps. The tunnels will go through 256 kilometers of the 285 kilometer long railroad. There are two reasons for this. First, maglev trains work best when they go in the straightest line possible. And second, tunneling under the mountains lets Japan avoid the part of its coast that is more likely to shake. But by using this method, JR Central ended up digging some of the deepest tunnels in Japan. This made a lot of people worried about the environment especially in Shizuka Prefecture, where tunneling threatens the river basin, which is an important source of water for the area. 
environmental studies have found that there isn't much of a chance that the basin will be damaged. But local governments have said that these studies are incomplete and rushed. The governor of Shizuka ran on a platform against the train, and he won an election in June 2021 in which the Shinkansen was a big issue. The cost of the project has gone from $13.7 billion to a whopping $64 billion because of this debate and unplanned delays in building new stations. This makes it one of the most expensive mega-projects in the country's history. Many Japanese people aren't sure if the new line is worth the high price tag. Japan's maglev system has a few problems. Once they are built, they will cost more to run than regular high-speed trains because they use more energy. But you could argue that they will help the economy grow more. They won't be able to carry as many people in their smaller carriages, and they won't be able to go as often. On the route between Tokyo and Osaka, bullet trains run every three minutes. Because charging the tracks for a maglev train takes longer, it will only be able to run once every 10 minutes. In the past, Japanese rail companies have made a lot of money by selling their technologies abroad. But since the first bullet train was built in 1964, China has come onto the scene as a major new player. It is now the undisputed king of the high-speed rail with two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail network in the country. China doesn't have any maglev lines between cities, but the country is working on its own version of the technology. In July of 2021, it tested a maglev train that went 600 kilometers an hour, which is almost as fast as Japan's record. From Beijing to Shanghai, that train could get there in three and a half hours, while it would take nearly four and a half hours by plane. China doesn't need to buy Japanese technology, while the rest of the developed world is still catching up with regular high-speed rail. So why is Japan so set on building this maglev line? And why did the government give JR Central a loan to finish it 10 years early? If the CH Shinkansen is successful, it can make it easier for people to travel between the country's two largest cities, Osaka and Tokyo. This would connect the area between the two cities. It's a prize that people all over the world want more and more. Strategically placed infrastructure is turning China's Pearl River Delta and Jingjingji region into megacities or megalopsises. Informally, though, the lines between cities in the northeastern part of the United States, from Washington, D.C. to Boston, are getting more and more blurry. Things are the same in Western Europe. When this many big cities join together, it could create economic powerhouses on a scale that has never been seen before. When the world's first bullet train was built more than 50 years ago, everyone laughed at it. But in the end, it helped Japan grow by connecting places and sharing wealth. In the 10 years after it opened, Japan's economy grew from being 10% of the size of the US's to being the second largest in the world. Only time will tell if this new line will help the country do better. That's all for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to mention your comments below. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next.